on the phone with us this morning, our auditor, Charles Ross. He had uh, We had him scheduled here for 745, and uh, right on. And uh, we expect to be talking to him today about uh, the ballot and, and about your, uh, well, the concerns that you have. A lot of folks have a lot of concerns around, around this whole election system. So we'll get our ballots uh, early next week. And uh, Charles Ross is uh, going to be talking to us here in just a minute about, uh, um, you know, some of the efforts by uh, who, who is trying to get into our system and who does this every, every time. Well, apparently uh, foreign actors is what I've been told. But uh, Charles Ross on the phone with us this morning. Auditor foreign Charles Ross. I don't know. I just <laughs> I played Hamlet in uh, the Russian uh, community theater. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Good morning, Charles Ross. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys for uh, giving me a few minutes on your program. What a beautiful morning driving into town this morning. Just amazing. This yeah. is such a beautiful area we live in. It, That's it right. is indeed, Charles. Good, uh, good to have you. Um, Charles, I know that you uh, have every confidence in good old Washington State. How many years have we been doing vote by mail now? A dozen oh, years, roughly? 15, like 15 years. Yeah. Uh, but not everybody has, sir. Right, right. Uh, if you were taking <laughs> over the auditor's office today, and prior to our being um, a vote by mail state, you handled maybe, what, uh, 10% of the volume uh, as abs- yeah. absentees, and all of a sudden it's going to be... 90% of the volume, uh, would, would that not be a, pot- a potential? Not that yeah. you, Charles Ross, couldn't handle yeah. it because I have every yeah. faith. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, you know, remember back, uh, w- one of our biggest, most recent, and, you know, we only know the world from our own viewpoint usually, but when you think back to the Dino Rossi, uh, you know, kind of debacle in Seattle, King County, um, it was driven out of large part by the fact that they were conducting two styles of elections. They were doing, uh, you know, kind of a hybrid vote by mail, lots of absentee ballots, and they were conducting vote by mail, and they had poll sites going at the same time. Um, it's just, you know, it's just, it just massively increases the amount of opportunity for error. Um, so I would not want to be doing that. I, 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 as an American voter, fear some of the stories I hear as a guy who has learned a lot more about elections sitting in this chair for the last, you know, five years. Some of the stuff I hear just scares me to death. I mean, I just think I don't even understand how you conduct an election when you're not even sure how many voters you have at any given time. Um, I understand the fact that you can have way more ballots out in the world than you have voters, as long as you have a system that knows they're only one ballot per voter. Um, so some of these states, I, I, I sure as heck hope they are very vigilant in watching what's going on. And, um, you know, and, and it's so hard, you guys. I mean, I, I, you know me. I'm always defending the way Washington does it. Us and five other states lead this whole arena by vote by mail exclusively. And, and it's almost perfect. It really is. But I, some of these other things, I don't know. You probably know more about it than I do reading the stories. You know, I, I constantly see, uh, well, I got three ballots, you know, uh, mm-hmm. and, and they're all, you know, two of them. What, what kind of, of uh, safeguards are out there if I get two ballots or three ballots? You know, you just kind of you just <clears throat> yeah. talked a little bit about it. Just Yeah, yeah. I mean, here in this state, we, we you know, we who do elections kind of take that that shock and awe that people have when they say, what, a person got six ballots or they had access to six ballots? Um, now, remember, the the ballots that you produce in this state, like if we're sending you a ballot, we just did a bunch yesterday for people who were moving. <clears throat> and, and, you know, the snowbird population here in Yakima right. is very large. Right. You know, and so people are very nervous this year. So historically, these people take off right about now. They get down to their place in Arizona. Their ma- mail is forward. It's one of the reasons why, why we do forward ballots in the state because of our Arizona population. The ballot hits your house in, you know, Terrace Heights. It bounces down to you in Phoenix, wherever you live. You get it a couple days later. The person votes it. They mail it back. This is your home record. Your ballot is counted, okay? So imagine that same person gets down there and they panic and they say, oh, God, I never forwarded my mail. 
So they call Kathy or they call here, and you can actually do it online too, but they, they get a hold of us and they say, hey, I need a ballot. We say, roger that. You know, we are producing a ballot for you today in Yakima County. It's going in the mail. It'll be down there in a couple of days. So there's ballot number two, right? Ballot number two is in the way, on the way down there, and if somebody else grabbed ballot one and tried to fill it out for them and mail it back to us, we would get it, and most likely the signature would fail, right? Plus, we know in the system we've already annotated it should not be coming from Yakima, right? So we know that. Uh, ballot comes back, the signature doesn't match. A couple of days later, the Arizona ballot shows up. It comes through our system, and then that person's ballot window is closed forever. There could be other ballots that they had requested after that. I mean, I have voters in Yakima County who systematically lose three to five ballots every every time. They're just those people. Well, they only get to have one ballot counted for them. So a lot of people get worked up when they hear that. But if you were to come down here and look at how we monitor this, just like if Dave or you jump on the computer and download a ballot right now or when you're, when you're authorized to, military members can. But we know that immediately. We, it shows up on our system. The minute you click download ballot, we know you did that. So then if you, we then treat you differently. We're watching. We need, to, we need to figure out which ballot you sent in. And people do all kinds of things with their ballots. You know, they they mail their wife's ballot in and their envelope, vice versa. I mean, and we figure all that out. And that's one of the reasons why I really trust Washington State's methodology. And we mark those ballots, Dave, to be specific, to be clear. They say uh, with a purple sticker on the back, use this ballot. You know, we try to re- remind voters that this is a different ballot. You've requested a second ballot. So I'm not worried about that so much, especially when you think – State nationally, right? If you're trying to hack or you're trying to disrupt a national election, you have to know what ballot Dave is getting because his ballot will look different than my ballot because I have a different ledge candidate on my ballot. You see what I mean? Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, and, and or different issues. I have a different commissioner in this election on my ballot than you would have. Well, as as thorough as you are uh, in our state and and our state's system, Charles, do other states share that? I mean, when when Trump said, "Look, vote, uh, vote by mail in Carolina, and then go to your polls," and and everybody went, "What? Try to get him vote yeah. twice? No." The whole point was, right? Let the system stop you, thus confirming that you uh, your vote by mail thing registered. Um, do, do other states do the kind of detail that we do that would prevent that from being a two vote attempt? Well, I, I do know that many states have aggressive methodologies in place. I, I, Dave, I just don't have the knowledge and expertise to, to, to make accusations about some of the states. And some of the stuff I've read, you know, where you may have other groups, that, if they're mailing ballots out that are not generated by the governmental entity, I don't know how that ballot would get counted through their software. Because, I mean, this is very technical, but you got to think about kind of the, the workings behind the ballot, right? right. So I, we had a guy who is a military member for you know, he's, a, he's overseas. He was our first ballot that came in literally within hours of us opening the window for foreign voters. Um, he, they have the ability, and they're the only group of population in Washington, they have the ability to do an online ballot, right? So they click, they click it open, they print it, they fill it out, they sign it, they mail it back to us, and it comes to us as a PDF, okay? We get that email from them. We convert it into a real ballot, the same one that you get at your house. We then duplicate it where two people sit down and they reproduce that ballot on a countable ballot that goes into our counting system. Uh-huh. And then we know the guy from New Zealand is now voted. His window's closed. His ballot is through the machine. You see what I mean? Yep. But it's not just his downloaded ballot. It's put on one of our secure ballots. Um, we only do that for a very small amount of people. Everybody else, it's got to be one of our ballots. You know, So some of these states, I think that it could be you know social groups or somebody printing off ballots, mailing them around. I, I just don't know because I've never I've never seen it in real life, so I'm speculating. All right, we're going to have to pull your title as czar of all voting now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but, but, but also, a lot of people are critical of the, of the postal system. You know, I just haven't had firsthand experience of anything that I've read that's happening in some of these major cities. And life's probably different in a big metro city, right? Yes. But here, we have not had any problems with the post office other than when the voter doesn't realize that they're sticking their ballot in a blue box that's already been 
picked up the day of election or the day before, and then it's going to get postmarked too late. So if you're within oh. one or two days of the election, put it in the red box, right? Right. All right. Uh, now, uh, in terms of uh, of uh, the, ba- the, the, the the foreign actors, I said trying to get into yeah. the system. I mean, what's going on there? And you know, tell us about that. Yeah. So you know, this is this is the uh, you know the, the the Super Bowl of elections in the world, right? I mean, I think every foreign actor in the world is focused on trying to disrupt this election. Um, so we've just seen an incredible increase in the amount of uh, attacks on all state. Uh, systems um, and and even local government, you know, just all kinds of phishing attacks and different attempts to send, you know, to get malware into us. We've, you know, statewide, they've, they've enacted, we're kind of at battle stations for the technology worlds. We've instituted every single protocol we have to protect ourselves from any kind of intrusion. The Secretary of State has said over and over that, you know, her system and the voting system has remained, um, you know, unpenetrated and uh, they're very, very, they're working diligently. They brought in national level, FBI level folks to help monitor and constantly um, address what's going on. So that made me kind of feel good, but it's it's just the way of the world nowadays. Yeah. Every every foreign actor, a lot of this is suspected out of Russia. Same things that intruded the banks, you know. So, you know, we're under attack. We knew we would be. Um, I give the Secretary of State a lot of credit for her techno team and the people out of Microsoft. I mean, yeah. they're dealing directly with the engineers and safety officers and in Microsoft. So we're doing everything we can, and we're doing okay so far. Good. Uh, okay, one last question for you. you got about a minute and a half left. Okay. Uh, we got a listener that says, uh, what's being done to prevent King County from finding 1,400 mail-in ballots and getting them added during a recount of previously counted votes and then stealing another election like they did from Dino Rossi? Uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah. It, that system that you just kind of explained would prevent that, right? It would, true, true. I mean, however, if, it, you know, we've been through this once with Wapato. If, if you discover ballots that are legitimate and should have been counted, the, the rules say you must count those ballots. I think, I don't think the Dino Rossi thing would ever happen again in King County the way it happened. Yeah. Now, there, if it came down to five votes making a difference on a massive election, uh, you know, like say the gubernatorial election again, yeah. That thing's going to end up in court, which is one of the reasons why I firmly, you know, strongly advocate that, that they seat uh, the Supreme Court justice as soon as humanly possible, because there will be states that will end up in lawsuit territory over their results. Yep. <clears throat> I don't yep. know how it can't happen, and, and doing it with a divided court would be insane. Beautiful. Great. How often do you guys dump the the drop off box? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, wa- we we never dump them, Dave. We no, never no. dump them. <laughs> All right. How often do you take them we, across the street and enter yeah, them into the we, system? We are we are in and out of those things weekly. The one across the street, sometimes daily, when we get close to elections. And we sir, anybody who goes to a red box at a town hall, and if and if the town hall, hopefully if it's full, call us. We're coming out. But we've we've stepped up our our cleanouts that we're doing our sweeps. So Good. we anticipate a lot of people using them, so we're going to be out there twice as much.